Hello everybody and welcome back to the G-Rated Family Gaming Channel. I just want to show you how to get this really cool ice crown as a part of the holiday event for Roblox. This video takes a little bit, but mostly because I'm showing you how to deal with some of the glitches that you might encounter along the way. So you want to go start Mountaineers. Uh, in the beginning, there's a lot of reading. You talk to Scrooge McBlock. He basically says, meet me at the top of this hill. And he gives you a little bit of a hint, which is a large body of falling water, which reminds me of a waterfall. And basically, if you go up to the top of the hill and meet him up there, he's going to give you your item. Then you get this welcoming message like any other cool event. And it tells you to go meet him at the top. And then he's going to give you what you're looking for. So wandering around here at this lower hill, you just head up the hill and then you, you can see there was that little uh, pond there. You head up those stairs, up the stairs you can see this little pink thing and then another little waterfall here. It kind of looks like it's got steps in it so you just want to keep heading up towards the top of the hill. That is your goal, towards the top of the hill. So uh, after that little part you take a left and then you keep going here, uh, go across this water uh, these rocks over on this other side of it, you just do a little bit of parkour, do some parkour around that, and then work your way up here. Basically, see this waterfall right over here? Behind it, you're going to find all these ledges, and you climb up these ledges, and that will help you get a little bit further up to the next level. Uh, going up to the next level, it, you know, you still got a lot to do, but once you get up here, you can see you won't run back here. I'm speeding forward a little bit talk to this person you can see that this person saying you can climb up to the top of this little uh, hill over here they've got this ice wall but you're gonna need some ice picks and you don't have any ice picks so you have to go get those and then once you get those you can go up there and you can see there's falling icicles so you're just gonna turn around and then go the opposite just go the direction that you came from here is that little wall and you can't climb up it yet because you don't have your ice picks so just go back this way the same direction that you came from and then you're gonna cross several bridges I believe there's like three bridges and you're gonna go talk to this fisherman dude okay so go back here okay now we're gonna just kind of fast forward this a little bit so this is bridge number one bridge number two bridge number three keep going back there and then you find fisherman Joe Wharf and then you talk to him a little bit he says you want to get me a rock fish and then I'll give you ice picks but he's also going to give you a fishing pole so that you can go get rockfish. And you don't need to go too far. Basically, this bridge right next to him, you can find rockfish in here. Go into your inventory, equip your fishing pole. Make sure, guys, your inventory is huge when it comes to whether or not you're going to deal with glitches. So I just ran around here. I spent a little bit of time doing the fishing. I figured out that if I put my fishing pole in the water and then kind of swam, I would get a little bit more fish kind of coming after it so I move around and then you see that fish see that rock fish back there it's going after my bait so it's 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 eating my bait right now so then you just pull your fishing pole in uh, basically you, you click and then once you pull that in you can see on the right it says rock fish added to the inventory once you do that then you know you've got a rock fish I think I actually stuck around and caught a couple of rock fish because this guy was going crazy for my bait uh, so go to your inventory we've got three of these you only need one really so you don't uh, really need any more than one. Basically, all you have to do now is go find yourself this that Joe Wharf guy again, the the fisherman dude who gave me gave you the fishing pole. Uh, cross on the other side of the stock, down here, and talk to him, and he's gonna be very happy that you gave him the fish that he's looking for, and so he's going to give you those ice picks. So those ice picks are what you're gonna use to climb up the wall where you were earlier. So there we go, Ice Picks. It's the finest one in the seven seas, apparently. I don't know, that's what he says. I don't, I don't really believe him. Okay, so now we've traveled back across these three bridges and we're coming back over here to this little ice wall because we've got the Ice Picks and we can actually climb it. So go to this thing and then you press Y and then after you press Y, you just basically have to jump up there and then start climbing. You just push up. You don't need to keep jumping. As you can see, I tried to do that and that didn't work out so well, well for me. So just do that and then press up and then try to look up so you can avoid these little ice uh, pieces that are falling on you. Because if you get hit by enough of those, then you're going to you're gonna have a bad day. You're going you're gonna to have a bad day. You're not going to be able to climb up there. It's not going to be so good. So at the top, you can see another uh, set of stairs. Uh, fishing in one direction, deep sea diving. I think we're going to go head up to the fishing area. Go across this bridge. Uh, maybe you'll see some people over there, maybe not. Uh, so just keep going a little further along this path. See how it turns a little bit pink and then it heads off to the right. So head up where it's like pink and it's off on the right and left side. 
and then across this little bridge and across this little bridge you can see down below you will find this little lake so what you want to do is go talk to this little gentleman over here on the side of the lake say hey to your friends if they're hanging out over there jump on their head uh, talk to this guy he says hello what's up so what he wants is these like golden peaches or something I don't know exactly what it is but he's going to give you a snorkel you don't want to die you want to make sure you equip the snorkel so that you can go in there and also see these little air pockets in there you want to hit those air pockets every now and then so that you don't run out of air and it doesn't reset your character so go back in there see this little uh treasure chest all you want to do is open one of those and get one of the uh golden golden peaches that's what it looks like to me it looks like a golden peach so all you want to do is make sure you get one of those uh, and go back up to the top. I found more than one of these little treasure chests and each of them had more than one of these golden peaches in it. So I got more than I needed really. Uh, and then make your way to the top. Uh, now that you've got that equipped, you're going to want to, uh, give one of these basically to this guy. So he's like, yeah, you got it. And then he's going to give you an air tank. However, this is when some glitches start to happen. I didn't get an air tank. I looked in my inventory my inventory was full so I didn't actually get the air tank from him. So, so if you actually don't get any of these items from these people, you might have to go back and do something again. This was the glitchiness part that I was talking about a little bit. Uh, I thought I had the air tank, but I didn't have it. But I don't think I actually used the tank as a part of the, uh, the actual... Uh, trying to get this item uh, it can help you if you need to go swimming and you want to go swimming longer but I was able to basically like move on and get to the mansion without the air tank it's not really about the air tank uh, it's about the fact that sometimes you're not getting items like for instance this guy inside the mine he's supposed to give you a pickaxe right here when you talk to him but my inventory was full or something I don't know I talked to him I didn't actually get the pickaxe from him I had to go and talk to him several times I even had to like reset and then come and talk to him and then empty my inventory and it took me like three or four times talking to him before I got the pickaxe uh, see uh, like he said like you got your pickaxe and then go and get five pieces of silver I'm trying to use my ice picks guys understand your ice picks are not your pickaxe these ice picks are not going to help you mine any of this stuff and i looked in my inventory here and i've got all these like golden peach things uh and so i didn't have room for the pickaxe so i'm thinking this is the reason i didn't actually get it so you're gonna have to go in and drop some stuff and uh so i went back and talked to this guy again after dropping some stuff in my inventory uh tried to make sure i've got the tank in my inventory as well I also dropped some more of these golden peaches because you're going to need at least five spots open in your inventory uh, for when you go and do the mining for the silver because it's not going to let you mine all the five spots unless you have your inventory. So guys, there is a lot of you know inventory management as a part of this in order to make it work. So this is my second time going and talking to this uh, miner dude and I think even the second time he didn't actually give me the pickaxe. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, it, guys, I know that it gets a little frustrating if there's glitches, uh, so you might have to just kind of go back and reset and try to figure out what's going on. Because I checked my inventory here, nope, no pickaxe. There should totally be a pickaxe there after you talk to this guy, and if you don't have a pickaxe, something is wrong. So I basically, I reset my character, and here's a warning guys, if you reset your character, you get started off at the very, very beginning at the bottom of the hill, but I found some water. And I, I was like, well, so what if I drowned, is it going to reset me at the beginning or what's it going to do? So fortunately I drowned and then it reset me back up here at the top of the hill where I talked to this guy who gave me the air tank. So if you get reset to the bottom and you've made it really far, then just go in the water and let the air run out. And then after, after your character, you know, respawns, then you'll go back to where you were. So this is my, I think third time coming into the mine, trying to talk to this guy, hoping that he will actually now finally give me this pickaxe. So I talked to him, listened to his little spiel again, and after I listened to his spiel, go and check my inventory. He gives you some, some ideas about what the different stuff, yay, bottom right, it says pickaxe added to inventory. That is, that is a relief. So finally, I, I got it. I got it, I talked to him, and I've got the pickaxe in my inventory, yes, so you can go and equip that, and then these bright ones, it's not really hard to find, 
silver. It's like this big, it's kind of like a bright glowing white. And I've also noticed that it seemed like if people were mining silver close to me, that they would also like end up giving me pieces of silver. So it's not hard to find the silver. Just make sure you have five slots open in your inventory, because if you only have four open, you can go mine silver all day, but you're only going to have a total of four in your inventory. So I, I sort of learned this the hard way. I kept going and I was like, wait, that one didn't like there was, you know, after I had four in my inventory, it was not adding the fifth one to my inventory. So that's where I had to go in and check, check and try to find out what was happening there. So just continue around the mine, uh, keep finding these silver spots. Here you can see in my inventory, I didn't have any room for one, so I had to make another slot available. And then after I did that, I could finally go, go to the fifth piece of silver and mine it. And now you can see it was added to my inventory. Then I bring it to this guy. <laughs> Here we go once again, talk to him. He's supposed to give you these really cool mountain boots. However, after I talk to him and I give him all the silver, it says, uh, you know, a, a fridge was added to my inventory. I have no idea why he gave me a fridge. He's supposed to give me boots. I, I, I got a fridge somehow. So I went through, I went and I cleared out five spots. I mined five pieces of silver again and I came back to him. I had to come back to him like four times and then I finally got these boots. Now I put them on and then for some reason they turn into snorkels again. So it's a little glitchy with the items. Uh, I, I think I went around four or five times mining the silver, getting five pieces, bringing it to them, not getting the boots. Uh, and then eventually I finally got the boots. So a little patience will work because it is a little glitchy. Uh, once you have the boots, you can do a little bit more parkour and you can walk around a little bit better. Uh, so you want to try to get up to the top. You can see there was that mine shaft and I was able to kind of climb up a little bit better. If you find yourself over on here on this side, this is uh, a spot where you can kind of hop over from here over up on here uh, that won't work if you don't have the boots and then on this side you can see uh, there's all these sled hills with different colors it doesn't really matter I went up the the pink one here uh, but at the top they basically all meet at the same point essentially uh, so I found the top of the green one so if you're at, you're at the bottom go to the green one and then around the corner here you'll find the top of the red one and then back behind there you've got this dude over here that you can talk to he basically tells you about the cool sled hills that are around the area that you you just went up uh, so apparently later you come here and you can enjoy those sled hills so that'll be fun for later but around back behind him see this little cliff you can if you've got your boots you can just keep on jumping climb to the top of this cliff and then you can look around you can see there's there's uh, a little further that you've got to get to and then you turn around go back and then go further up this little ridge and if you it doesn't let you go far past it but i noticed you can still kind of climb up and use this ridge see that and you see that uh, mansion back there you want to get to that mansion in the back that is your goal so uh there's a couple different ways that you can get there i just figured i'd go across this bridge go straight across uh you're gonna have to do a little bit of you know climbing and working your way over there uh, but when you've made yourself this far you're you're almost there all you have to do is just kind of find the right way so just kind of watch the video and watch how i make myself like to to the mansion and then you can see kind of like a little bit of strategy and kind of a path to get there uh, i don't think that this is necessarily the only path or the only way to get there maybe there's other ways where you have to go and you have to use the air tank but i don't know maybe this is actually a shortcut i don't know but if it is uh that's that's pretty cool. I'm glad that I was able to find a shortcut uh, the first time. If it's not, then maybe this is the long way. I don't know. <laughs> uh, so you can see that I was basically trying to work really hard to try to find my way over to the bridge. I couldn't climb over this, uh, but I found this little ledge here at the end and then was able to walk up this ice. And then that brought me right up here, basically to the front door of the mansion. So Mr. McBlocks, Scrooge McBlocks is inside of this mansion and he's ready to battle you. So you press Y at the door, that opens the door. You just wander around a little bit. You can see he's got his gold hidden there. He's got all this cool stuff. Uh, I basically kind of walked along the left side. Don't try to go up these stairs. These stairs are broken. Uh, and then just keep wandering around until you find this room in the back here that says boss battle. So a boss battle starts, you go up there, you press Y, as soon as you press Y, it will start counting down, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then you get this animation, basically he's like Dr. Robotnik, I guess, from Sonic the Hedgehog, I don't know. Uh, as far as fighting him, uh, 
I found that the best way is just, just run up at him and like keep jumping on him. There's, uh, there's a button that you press to kind of do a little bit of a, a flip forward jump, but if you can kind of get right in him and then just kind of keep jumping into him, as you can see, you're gonna die a few times, but you, his life up there at the top is a little less than it was. So I don't know if you actually have to have the boots on or what, but as you can see, uh, if, you, if you press the right buttons, uh, you can kind of do this little flip jump thing. So just go up to him and do this flip jump, flip and jump him in the face. I tried to press the Y button to ride him. That didn't work or do anything for me. You know, maybe they've done an update or a patch uh, to fix some of these glitches, but maybe you guys were dealing with what I was dealing with here. Uh, so I just kept coming up to him, jump on him, and then do the flip thing, and then do the slide thing, flip and slide, and then just keep uh, kicking him with your boots as you flip. And then he's going to kill you a couple times in the process, of course. <laughs> no problem. Uh, just keep respawning each time. He, he doesn't gain his life back or anything. Uh, so you just keep doing this a couple times. He'll spin around. He'll try to throw stuff at you. He's not the most sophisticated dude in the world, but uh, basically just try to keep jumping on top of him and kicking him as you flip. And then, you know, you got to you gotta squat on him, I guess. <laughs> I'm not sure if the squatting is doing any damage against him. And uh, the snowballs that I have aren't doing anything either. It's just that I've kept coming up to him, kept flipping, kept jumping, kept trying to hit him with my boots. And eventually, as you can see, uh, his life is going down slowly. Uh... He's got some more sophisticated weaponry, it looks like, but still, no matter, just go in there, flip, jump, jump on him, and flip, and kick him with your boots, and then pretend that you're going to ride him, but then it doesn't work, and then boom, he goes down, yay, he's run out of life, yay, finally, it's over, and that's what we say when it's over, it's like, yay, Scrooge McBlocks, give me my whatever, the ice crown thing that I, I won. So Mecha Scrooge kind of talks to you, you kind of give him some compliments, and then he's like, yeah, good job, you're, you're not too bad, my time's up, here's here's this thing. <laughs> so you get the congratulations, happy holidays from Roblox, and it tells you that you've got your really cool new item over there in your avatar for you to go and check out. Let's go and take a cool look at our cool new item. So here we've got this ice crown, you can click this, you can put this thing on. If you've got the Arctic Fox, then their hats sort of collide. But here we go. A nice closer look at this awesome ice crown. It took a lot to finally get this thing. I know this video took a while, but I was hoping if you guys are dealing with the glitches that I was dealing with, um, then I wanted this video to help you and not just tell you, you know, how it looks when it works perfectly, you know, because it doesn't always work perfectly the first time. Maybe they're going to patch out these glitches. Maybe they won't. I'm pretty sure it'll be fixed. But I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you guys would like to subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And if you have any questions, put those in the comments below. Bye.